Okay, this is the process for calibrating the pH meter. So, first you want to rinse your electrode with some distilled water. Take it out of the storage container and put the waste beaker underneath while you also remove this part. You have to rinse the electrode with distilled water to get any previous liquids off. Make sure you also get the tip of the electrode. Okay. Now we dry it with some Kim wipes straight down and pat the end lightly. You don't want to go in there too much. Um, so you don't damage the electrode, but you do want to dry it enough. We're going to start with pH 4 buffer. And put the electrode into your buffer. Now hit the cal button on the far right. It is blinking as it's searching for the pH. This might take a minute, so be patient. As I said on the bottom left corner, it has changed to Cal and there's a number one on there. That is the first point out of the three point calibration. And calibration basically means to set a standard for the instrument where you tell it this is pH 4, this is pH 7, and this is pH 10 and the instrument will use that as a reference to guess the pH of your solutions. Alright, so I gave the buffer a little swirl and sometimes this will help to deeply immerse your electrode and get to the pH faster. Now we are at pH 4.01 for the first calibration point. This is good for us. Now we can go ahead and take the electrode out and rinse it with some water. You have to rinse the electrode between each reading with water because you want to clear whatever is left on the electrode from the previous buffer so it doesn't affect your pH reading. Again, straight down and pat the tip. Next is pH 7. Be sure to do it from lowest pH to highest pH. Okay, so I have submerged the electrode into pH 7 buffer. Now I can hit the cal button on the far right. Only hit the cal button, you don't need to hit anything else. And now we are at cal point number two. And you can swirl the solution like I said, to help the pH move a little bit faster. But overall this process does take some time, so be patient and do it right the first time and you will be happy that you were patient.
Sometimes you gotta play with the electrode holder if it's too far down. So now the pH meter has read that we are at 7.01 and this is perfectly fine even if the buffer is labeled as 7.00 this is perfectly fine. So let's go ahead and take out our solution, our electrode from the solution. All of your buffers are made fresh every time. Um, it's better to have some fresh buffers than to risk using an older one due to the, perhaps you know contamination or anything that could happen to change the pH over time so your buffers are always prepared fresh so that you can get a good calibration. The buffers are prepared ahead of time so you don't have to prepare them. All you have to do is calibrate the pH meter. Okay, so now we're at the greatest pH, 10, and all we have to do again is hit the far right button Cal once, and we have Cal 3 now for the third point of our calibration curve. This one is pH 10. Give it a swirl. Again, I could skip to the part where the value is reached, but for educational purposes, I will leave the pH meter to increase on its own without fast forwarding the video. So you can see that it will take a minute to do this procedure, but it is well worth it. So I will go ahead and let the pH meter run.
Okay, it looks like the calibration is over. The pH meter has determined that we're at 10.03 pH. And again, this is perfectly fine. Um, and we can see the smiley face on the upper left corner. Well, from here it is smiling, so our calibration was successful. I will show another angle of the pH meter so that you can see that it is a smiley face. This is the end of the calibration in general and so when you get that smiley face you're good to go. You can take your electrode out of your buffer, close your buffer and then re-rinse your electrode with water and wipe it. And then the next thing that you would do from here is to put this into your sample beaker. Um, I don't have one here, so I will put it into this other solution, the pH electrode storage solution that I made. So you would basically put it in here. And when you're ready to get your uh, first point, then you would hit read. Here, that middle button read slash enter will get your first point of your pH reading that you need. If for any reason you have a sad face on the upper left corner, then something went wrong um, and you would have to redo the, the calibration. Um, you can ask your instructor for further details on what to do. If you get an in-between face again, then um, maybe something also went wrong perhaps you only used two buffers instead of three or perhaps you used them in the wrong order remember it has to be from lowest to highest so it would be pH 4, pH 7 and then pH 10 if you do them out of order this will throw off the data that the pH meter is collecting and it will not get a clear response as to what calibration you are doing and sometimes in that case it will leave a confused or in-between face so do the process just as I have and you will get a happy face um, if you did that and for some reason you were not able to reach it perhaps the electrode is out of order uh, so check with your instructor to check the electrode if that is the case I wanted to show you the reading of this pH 4 solution the electrode storage solution after the calibration has been done just so that you can see what the first reading after a calibration looks like if it's accurate um, for what we're looking for so this is the pH 4 buffer solution right now the last point of the calibration was 10.03 so I'm going to hit read here in the center and now it is flashing and it's starting to read the pH of the buffer. This buffer is clear because I have not colored it with orange food coloring. That is why it is clear and this one is orange. This is to distinguish the buffers. Remember as long as the icon is flashing on the pH meter it's a little beaker with a beaker with a an electrode as long as that is flashing it is not stable enough to tell you that is the reading so wait until the reading stabilizes or the icon stops flashing and at that point you can determine that it is the reading so it has told us that the buffer is at 4.05 pH and coming from the last point 10.03 to 4.05 this is a good indicator that our electrode has been calibrated properly since the electrode was able to identify the buffer pH um, after being submerged in a higher pH anyway so that is all for today with the calibration and ask your instructor if you have any further questions